What's going on, good people? It is the Bad Wolf, your main man in black, or sometimes blue. Thought you knew. All right, so uh, here, let me illuminate just a little while. The light behind me is making me look all heavenly and mysterious. <laughs> all right, there we go. It's a little bit better. Apologize for the lighting. Once again, this is midday recording. All right, so what is this video about? This video is about the travel document known as the 131. All right, so uh, what is the 131? So even myself, now we did make a video on another travel document called the 327. And uh, we also talked about getting a visa. So for those people who were not able to get a passport, these videos are awesome, okay? Because you should be able to apply for them and get them and not be denied. Now, of course, I can't promise that, um, but um, let's just say most people have been successful using those forms to travel versus the passport, all right? Um, it's a slightly different mechanism. So far, as far as we know, applying for them is just straightforward. You don't need to do a whole bunch of crazy processes and codes and statements and all that. It's just what it is. So look up those videos uh, where I talk about the visa and uh, uh, the 327 travel document. Now, this is also another travel document. So let me queue it up and we're going to show what we were able to find. Okay, one second. Uh, I guess before we get there, how's everybody doing out there? How's everybody feeling? Good, I hope, is what everybody replied. And if not, well, then I really hope that you get better. Okay, so I got it. Got her queued up. Let's share screen. Let's take a look. Okay. So the 131, what is that? What is the travel document? Is an application for re-entry permit or travel document designed for citizens. There you go. So you guys can use this. And permanent residents of the United States. Okay. Any individual who has a green card or is a citizen of the United States, which are all of these statuses, fall underneath citizen of the United States, other than a green card holder. It's slightly different because you're not all the way in yet. You're not one of ours. <laughs> um, so the 131A allows you to apply for a travel document if you are returning from travel abroad of less than one year and your permanent resident card, also known as a green card, has been lost, destroyed, or stolen. Okay, <clears throat> so apparently there's an L. The L-131 is not a commonly used term in the context of travel documents. However, form I, so it's an I-131, is an application for a travel document that is used to apply for a re-entry permit. Now, of course, you're like, re-entry? I'm not, what, I, I leave and I, I just, what, this is only if I left and I can come back? Nope. This is to leave and come back. It is the travel document. So now, a long time ago, when I stumbled across this, um, it was told to me by in confidence for somebody who is families in the military that the passport really itself is supposed to be for official um, persons, employees of the United States Corporation, and that we are supposed to use our or the travel document or a visa. Now, the thing is, typically these can be more expensive and they don't last as long as the passport. So that's one of the benefits of that. But in fact, if you have to go or you wanna go somewhere, then your 131 or your uh, 327 or a visa are going to be your next option. So if you have been denied, I would suggest getting these forms and doing them. You might be surprised at your results for various reasons we won't mention here and now. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see here. Can a U.S. citizen use a I-131? Okay. 
Well, this answer says, no, you cannot use Form I-131 to enter the USA unless you are physically present in the US. Okay, so if you're already here, you can use that one to leave and go. But if you're outside, you can't use the 131 um, to get in. So that's all that's saying there. Okay, so let's it's the application. That's actually the application. Okay, let's try it on Google. Can I travel outside the U.S. with the I-131? Yes, you can only remain outside the United States. However, as long as you re-enter the U.S. before the expiration date printed on your travel document, the travel document is valid for one year after it's issued, typically within 150 days and in some cases longer. Mm -hmm. So if you're going out and you're coming back, okay, within the time allotted, yes, you can use this. Now let's see what else we got in here. Okay, let's see what they have here under Simple Citizen. Okay. Okay, so submitting the I-131 alone isn't going to allow you to travel. Form I-131 is actually an application for a travel document, which you can use for some types of travel. There are four different types of travel documents you can get based on your immigration status. Okay. Uh, the USCIS issues five types of travel documents, advanced parole document, refugee travel document, the re-entry permit, that's what we want, TPS travel and carrier. So let's see what they say here. Okay, well, even though it says advanced parole, it doesn't seem like it means that you're on parole, but we'll we'll see. Okay, refugee, well, we know what that is. Temporary protected status. Okay, let's look at the reap entry. Yeah. So this is a product for by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration. So, yeah, I don't see anything saying that we cannot use it. Okay, let's take a look at the application a little bit here. Application for travel document. Name, physical address. 
optional other information. Oh, look right here. U.S. Social Security number. So this is for a U.S. citizen. A U.S. citizen can use this. I would check off 1A, I am a permanent resident. Yes, you are a permanent resident. Or at least your straw person is, but you know what I mean, so. Or conditional resident. I don't know what that means, but that would be us. Looks all pretty straightforward. Since becoming a permanent resident of the United States, or during the past five years, whichever is less, how much total time have you spent outside the United States? Uh, well, I'd probably say uh, less than six months for me. Okay, have you ever filed as a non-resident? No. Not a refugee, not advanced parole, so skip, skip. I am requesting an employment authorization document. No. Signature of applicant. Uh, if somebody else fills out the form for you. Yeah. That's it. And turned it in. Mail to address in part one. Yeah. Okay, once again, can a, there we go. Can a US citizen use a re-entry permit? Yes. So even though it says re-entry, it will allow you to leave and to come back or to use this as a ID. It says right here with a, and this is a, a law um, firm, with a re-entry permit, you can leave the U.S. for up to two years and then use your re-entry permit to re-enter the country. Okay. Green card through marriage. So there it is, guys. Another document you can use for your own travel identity and whatever else. So where you turn down for the passport, this might be an option for you, you know, if you need to travel or whatever else. Because um, I didn't see anything, any stipulations that you would be denied due to pa uh, child support or back taxes or whatever else. Didn't see any of that on the application. But as always, do your own research. We are not responsible for how you use any of our information here. That's right, camera. No. All right. So if you're interested, find that out. Once again, I do not do the processes for you guys or any of that stuff. Um, yes, I can make a ton of money because everybody keeps asking me to do it for them. The purpose of these videos is for you to learn how to do these things yourself. I'm just showing you guys. I'm providing tools. What you guys do with the tools and how you want to move is up to you. All right. So that is it um uh, don't forget to check out black site 32 thank you guys in advance for all the people who are starting to follow me now on tiktok um on blacksite32.com you can find all my social media pages including my other youtube pages um as well thank you for those people who are helping me to build um the bad wolf media channel don't forget that's on youtube i will be using that to talk about all various things everything from dating my relationships um uh, news, everything wild and crazy that, that makes you go, hmm, 
We're going to take a look at it, some theories and whatever else. So uh, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching the video. And if you'd be ever so kind, hit that bell like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Wolf's out. Thank you once again for helping me to get this channel to where we are. It looks like we should be hitting 60,000 people by the end of this year. So, wow. Super cool. Um, I have so much more information, guys, to bring you. It is crazy. So please don't be mad that I'm going to be making a lot of videos. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the day.